Do I like you need to, but glad to. So I'm an Internet of Things systems engineer. How many of you guys are doing hardware? Any you guys playing with Arduinos, playing with Raspberry Pis? How many of you playing with photons? Yeah. Yeah, right? Photons are cool. So this, this guy over here, uh, yeah. Jeff, you probably might know how easy this stuff has gotten. So you can do solutions now that are almost technically embarrassing but awesome, but there's still work to do. So my boss is in the audience, but uh, I'll say this anyway. I want to kind of mobilize the software teams out there to understand that this, bring our software sensibilities to hardware and make it way more awesome than wh what it is today. Um, hardware guys do weird stuff and they think it's okay and they do hard things and they go, wow, it feels good when it hurts. And software people don't work that way, right? We're like, script that and make the pain go away. I never want to see that again. So we're getting in some really neat places, Raspberry Pis, Arduinos, Photon is a really cool platform you should be looking at. But things are getting even better. I've recently just joined the W3C Web Bluetooth group. Who knew you were going to be able to use HTML, Web, and Bluetooth together soon? Right? Kind of blows your mind, doesn't it? Right? So, you know, we've been seeing this for years, right? You're like, hey, you're on this web page. Do you mind if we use your location? And you're like, sure, make my life better. I'll tell you know. Um, hey, can I go ahead and use your mic? Can I use your webcam? And we, so we're being able to interact with these physical devices that are on our phone um, in really cool ways. And we don't have to do it with an app. We don't have to like, you know, praise be to the app store to use this cool technology that's on our phone. We can use the web, right? And so I squared C, SPI, these things are coming down the pipe too. I have no idea how those are gonna look, right? Because those things don't even exist on your device. But anyway, if you're interested, I hope you think about looking at hardware because while Internet of Things is all hot and exciting, um, how many of you guys have used like the Unix command finger um, to read someone's dot plan back in the day, right? So in 1970, at Carnegie Mellon, you could uh, read the dot plan file of a Coke machine and find out if there are Cokes in it, how many are in it, and how cold they are. Why is it today I can't whip out my phone and go, where's the nearest Dr. Pepper? Uh, oh, it's right around there. Why can't I like reserve that Dr. Pepper because it's the last one and just e-pay for it? Why am I roaming around a building like some dullard looking for a Dr. Pepper when we know where the Dr. Pepper is? We're just not letting people know. Anyway, there's lots of cool stuff to do in the hardware space. Internet of Things is awesome. Um, did I mention we're hiring? I work for Zodiac Pool and Spa. So if you want to become an Internet of Things engineer and you want to help make the pool space awesome, uh, come talk to me or come talk to my boss over there. Uh, I'm Robert Blackwell. I work for Zodiac Pool and Spa. Thanks so much. This is an awesome event.